Okay. I was born in Los Angeles, California. Okay. My family is Salvadorian and Mexican. From Mexican from where? San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato. Ay, who are we talking to? We are talking to Carlos Gonzalez. Ay, and in he living plays? color. Marimba. Ah, la marimba. The marimba is an instrument that was actually brought um, to the Americas during the slave trade. It's an African instrument and the name marimba is in an African language. Once um, it arrives to the Americas, the indigenous people get the marimba and they adapt it to their music. And then the mestizo population gets the marimba and they add what you see here, which is called marimba cromatica, which has the same keys as you would see in a piano. It's made out of a special wood called rosewood. And that song is Ferrocarril de los Altos. And that song took me a long time to learn it. <laughs> and that's a little piece. Where is that from? That's from Guatemala. It was from um, the composer Domingo Betancourt from Quetzalterango. And he made that song um, when they built the first roadway in Xela, with what go through the highlands of Guatemala. And Domingo Betancourt, who made many, many songs, made this song, which is very popular um, in Chiapas, in Guatemala, in El Salvador. It's very known in places where they play marimba. So this instrument, as you see it now, and the way it is built now, is a fusion of those people, the indigenous, the African who brings the marimba via the slave trade, the indigenous people who incorporate it to their music, and then the Spaniards who come and now we have the marimba, which looks like a piano. So this is pretty much like, like us. Of many people, you get one people. Just quickly, mm -hmm. how long have you been playing the marimba? 19 years. 19 years, and I, I will say, Honestly, for the way he plays, because he enjoys it and he's mm. like, he's a professional. Thank you. That all your family played la marimba. No. Nobody in my family actually played the marimba that I know of. My grandfather said that he would play when he was a little kid, but I don't, I, I, I think he was just telling me that to motivate me. But he was very big into music. And as a young child, um, he would put marimba. And it always used to call my attention that what was that? What, what, what was that noise? You know, what was that music? What was that noise? What would make a sound like that? And wh where was your, your uh, grandpa from? My grandfather was born in El Salvador, in El Puerto de la Libertad, and his, his family was from San Miguel de Allende. Wow! So you start listening to that music and mm -hmm. you were curious about it. Where were you at that point? In Los Angeles. And, and you were listening to that music, and then what happened? Why you ended up ah, playing? Well, so I asked him, what was, you know, what was that music? What was, you know, what was that sound? And he tells me that it's a marimba. So I asked him, what does the marimba look like? And he told me that it's made out of wood. And you imagine a kid, you know, who was 11 years old, cannot really comprehend that wood would make that sound. So my grandfather found a Guatemalan restaurant in MacArthur Park. And he took me, and I was there for a year, religiously going. But just to listen just to it? Just to listen to it. And to because, have some... And to have some Guatemalan food, which Perfect. is good too. <laughs> and I, it called my attention so much, and I would just couldn't get enough of it. So one day, they, because I would stand um, next to the marimba players, one day they let me play the marimba. So they said, here, follow what, what we're doing. And that's how I started learning. And I spent many years like that, that they would only let me play during practices. Then after those years, they would let me play two songs in a party. Then they would let me play a whole set in a party. I wouldn't get paid. They would all get paid, but I wouldn't get paid. My, my pay was learning. And then after about another two years after that, then I started getting paid. But I didn't mind because I, for me, just playing the music was enough pay. And what did your parents say about that? Well, they kind of, you know, my mother would say, well, don't you rather play football ah! or, you know, <laughs> soccer? And I would say, no, I'd rather play the marimba. So one day, my grandfather bought me my first marimba, which was only eight keys, which is this only big. Only eight things. This eight big. little woods. Mm -hmm. And in that marimba, I began playing myself as well and I would practice in that marimba and I would put my headphones and I would practice and I would start getting songs and yeah and that's how I learned marimba and now I'm happy that I'm here in Miami and you know with Amayal and we're able to continue the marimba which unfortunately is, is, a, is a dying art you know a lot of a lot of young people are not interested anymore 
you know, but um, we still have enough young people here and our doors are open and, and we're teaching this instrument, which is a legacy of our ancestors. So just a curiosity, not just a question. Mm -hmm. When you're young and you have a girlfriend, mm -hmm. most of the time you just take a mariachi and you just play it. Uh -huh. How come you take a whole marimba to play a serenata? Oh, you can. You know that the marimba comes apart. I have played for a serenata before. So they take the whole marimba? They'll take the whole marimba. They'll put it in the van, they load it, they take it outside, and they take it for birthdays. So when it's somebody's birthday and they're sleeping for a, a serenata, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Estas son las mañanitas. Estas son. Like that. And. Awesome. En tu día. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's how we do it. 